Welcome back. Today I have an update for you on the lockpicker script that I put out on the last video. Since then I've made some improvements, I've learned a bunch about scripting, and I uh, finally got to the place where I want to make another video and sort of issue a final update of the script. And it does a lot more stuff now, uh, it's a lot easier to run, and uh, yeah, let's go over it real quick. So right away, the Armored Magical Wizards hat, you no longer need to edit anything. This is just, if you have it, if you don't have it, it's not going to use it that part of the script. Okay, second, restyled. If you do want this to work, follow the instructions here, guys. I've laid it out pretty simply. But I'm just going to, in the video, I'll just show you how to do it. You do need to, if you want the wizard hat swap to work, your main hat has to have a restyle in it. So example, when you single click your main hat, as mine is here, up here, it says restyled. Okay, if your main hat doesn't say restyled, you got to change that to something that's in your single click. Okay, so you single click it, you find a word here. The word here cannot match your wizard hat. So if you click your wizard hat, you got to not say stuff. You know, you got to not pick a word here. And, and don't, pick, don't pick aspect. So if it was like a, some sort of a mask, you could put mask in there. That would work. And you want to go down to this part right here, nicely cleaned up uh, wizard hat code. And you're going to want to change the word restyled right here. That's all you got to do. So line 59. If your hat doesn't say restyled, I, the reason why I pick restyled is because I figure, figure most hats have it in, in there. I realize not all though. So you're going to need to change that if you want that to work. And you know, just read the instructions, you know. So I added war mode for boss rooms. So custodian obviously harasses the shit out of you when you're hiding or stealth so now you can just enter war mode and the script is not going to hide okay second or third fourth fuck <laughs> uh, you want to use auto queue object delay so in your razor options come on up here to targeting and cues you want to check auto queue object delay this is going to make it so when you perform actions in the game they're going to queue up and what's good about that is that you're going to get like a fastest possible reaction. It's great. Now I also also set this to 600 milliseconds. I'm pretty sure 600 milliseconds is the server default. Some people say it's 500 milliseconds. I'm pretty sure it's 600, but you know, whatever. That's all you really need. So just auto queue, set your object delay to 600. Um, you know, if this isn't set to 600, the script's going to do it for you anyway, but I recommend if you're going to use auto queue that you do that. So back to the script. Where is script? There. Um, what else? Okay, so hiding and stealth cooldown. So let's go over that real quick. You gotta you gotta create these. So you go to your in-game options. Okay. And so go down to cooldowns. And you create a cooldown for hiding. Now you don't have to make it just like mine. All you really need is the top part here, and all you need is to match the word appropriately. So hiding must be spelled correctly. And you know, just you can leave a default cooldown zero. You don't need this bottom part. Although if you use this outside of the script, I would recommend that you do copy it like that. It's not needed for the script though. So same with stealth. Uh, I've got stealth here somewhere. Oh, right there. And same thing. You know, I just got a different color. So hiding stealth. Okay, you need this. If you if you aren't using this, the script is not going to work. Okay, and then also you can name your golem if you want now. Uh, defaults treasure golem that's what i use go down to line 50 if you want to change it and right there boom change it to whatever you want now no spaces must be unique if you try to name this after a player it's going to error the script it's not going to work uh, so really just make sure you choose a name that's uh yeah that you know works okay so that is the script there and um, yeah, so nothing required. You can just run this now. You don't need summoning anymore. Um, you could just run this as a, as a stealth lock picker without anything. It's all good. Um, now, uh, really quickly, I'll just show you the wizard hat. Why the wizard hat? Why is it such a big deal? Well, I'm going to play the script. So you see what happens here. So it puts the hat on, takes the hat off. What does that do? It knocks your stamina down by five points. Now let's wait for it. I'm going to try to walk through this guy. Oh, that's, oh, I can't walk through him. Look at that. I cannot walk through this guy. That works for hidden targets and everything. Yeah. Now, be careful, though, because when this goes up to 25, that split second of your hat going on and off, 
you will be able to walk through him. There's no avoiding that. So just be aware that's how that works. I would also recommend putting the uh, putting this below your feet or wherever you want. Uh, that's the in-game options. It's the uh, the options. Uh, let's find it real quick. I believe it is info bar. Yes, info bar. So I'm using a second info bar. It's stamina. Looks just like this. I'm not really using a color. I didn't bother labeling it because I wanted it to be just a nice short little bit of info there. But you can put an S on there or call it stamina, whatever you want. Okay, so cooldowns was attached, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, there's an error on the script. So the script will error out. And it's very rare that it, well, I guess it depends. It's not rare when you're going through screen transitions or um, teleporting far distances, or sometimes even recalling. Uh, the script sometimes just will error out. It's a bug in Razor. I don't know how to fix it. I'm pretty sure it's like back end stuff. I don't know. It's not really that big of a deal though. So if you do see it error out, it's going to give you a little red error in the corner and uh, just play the script again. No problem. And what else we have? Got all that stuff. Okay, so. Uh, I'll show you the build now. So build is the same. I haven't changed anything. Um, you can see that I've got a lot of links since the last video. And in fact, I'm fully golded here. Um, all of that's lockpicking. All that's lockpicking. So you can match the time of, of my last video when I had 17 links unlocked and all bronze to this video. And that's how long it took me to fully gold this chain. Now, keep in mind, I have been playing quite a bit. And if you look at server rankings here, I am currently in second place behind this monster Sapito. Uh, so I don't think I'm ever gonna catch up to this guy. Um, just like the third place is probably not gonna catch up to me. But I've been putting quite a bit of time in, so you know, there's that. And uh, you know, just the items that I get in the chest, I'm selling them. I'm going into the buy uh, section in Discord, looking for good deals, selling to the highest bidder. And um, yeah, it just it went really fast. Okay, I'm going to stop that wizard hat. Stop the script for a second. And uh, that's about all I have to say, um, except for I'm going to give you just a quick little tip on how to actually use the script as you're running through a dungeon, and also how to keep the script running. So you want the script running in the background, but there are, but you know, like say it errors out, well, you got to replay it. Okay, so you can have a hotkey for it. But what I like to do, I'm just going to close all this real quick. What I like to do is I take my most used scripts, like for example, command. I've got an all follow me, simple all follow me. And then I put this statement in here, just a simple little statement. You can make this however you want. You don't even need a statement. You can just put auto, well, sorry, my script is called auto lock pick. For you, it's gonna be called Bapith's Modern Dungeon Picker 2.0, or just whatever, Bapith's Modern Dungeon Picker. So every time I say all follow me, it's going to play a script to say all follow me, which cancels the lockpick script, but then it's just going to play it again. So I do that for all my commands and I do it for mini heal because uh, the, the, na the native mini heal in uh, Razor sucks. So I just, I make a mini heal, right? Make my own mini heal script and then we play it there. Now, some advice on hotkeys. You can have the script playing in the background and still use like tons of hotkeys. So these hotkeys will not conflict with the script running. You can do them both at the same time. And I suggest doing that for, you know, your most of your spell casting and um, potion drinking, you know, wh whatever you got to do, bandages, whatever, whatever you're doing. Just know that if you run a script, it's going to cancel the lock picking script. So you're going to want to pick it up, loop back into it. Um, of course, you don't have to do any of that. You can just simply have a hotkey for the script and uh, it'll work just fine. Uh, but that's what I like to do. So as I'm running through the dungeon, let's actually just sneak through the dungeon right now. And uh, we'll just pick a couple chests. Okay, that one's already picked. So I'm just going to try to get some speed out here. Let's just walk over here. A nice little wizard hat swap going. And we'll just summon an elemental right here. Of course, every time I summon an elemental, that's playing a script. And it's also looping back to the, to the auto lockpick. So I can press this, I can press this, you know, 
I can press this. This is really, really important, guys. Like, ha having a elemental control, super important. Because, you know, say you don't want some AoE nearby you. Oh, there's one over there. Say I don't want these guys nearby me. I'll just, I'll just stop that guy right there. Oh, there's somebody right there. Okay, we're going to leave him alone. And that thing is actually attacking me. Okay, because this elemental fell into a hole. All right, let's run across here. So when you're running this script and you're just running through with an elemental, when you see a chest, hopefully this one is up. Yes, it is. You want to run up to it and you want to stop. If, if you keep moving, you're going to move while the script is hiding you. And you're going to become unhidden. So that's really all there is to it. You just run up to a chest and you got to, boom, take your finger off that uh, movement key and stop. Just don't move. Now the script's going to do some new stuff. It's going to stealth for you now. Just one time. One time stealth. And that's nice because we have a really big stealth now. We've got a double stealth. There goes all the way up here. Do do do. And look, oh, double stealth. Preloaded. Ready to go. And you're always going to get that on a chest now because chests take longer than 10 seconds to open. Okay, so we got one up there. I'm not going to want to pop out of hiding here because there's a spectral terror. So I'll just do that real quick. And uh, I'm going to conclude this video pretty quick, but uh, just wanted you guys to know that. You got the update. Um, give you a brief sort of how to use this thing. It's really easy to use, obviously. But just remember, if you are using it, you gotta, when you're running up to the chest, you've got just about a half second to stop, and it's going to hide you. And that's going to be when you come within two tiles of the chest. Let's see if we can just do it here. Let's Maybe we'll just do it here. Here's, here's a little tip for you, too. If you're stuck somewhere and there's mobs all around you, just wall of stone. Okay? They can't see you. Summon your elemental. You can probably get your elemental up pretty fast, but this guy, you know, he might hit you with his his bullshit. <laughs> his, you, know, you know what it is. Okay, so we're just going to leave that guy there. We're going to run up here, and we're going to stop. There you go. Perfect. That's exactly what you want to do. And uh, with that, I'm going to rip out of the dungeon really fast and end the video. So let's, let's see what we get in this chest here real quick. Got my super links now. Maybe there's going to be a rare. All right, no rare. But you do notice that the script is looting a lot faster now. That's really good. So you no longer need a restock agent. I should have mentioned that at the start of the video, but uh, yeah, you no longer need a restock agent. And uh, let's just get out of here. Do do do. You know, I'm just gonna blaze by all this stuff. I'm gonna double rope, and we're out. Great. So. Keep an eye out for some more videos. I'm going to do another video on this right here. This is the dump and restock. So next video, probably something like this. Super fast dump and restock. And uh, then I might do a series of videos on lock picking each dungeon. So just sort of like all the chest locations, how to deal with the mobs nearby them. And uh, maybe a little bit of routing, but routing is really subjective. That's up to you. Um, you can route however you want. There's really no wrong way to do it. And I did forget to mention that this build actually is a little bit malleable. So you can change stuff if you want. So ultimately, it comes down to lock picking and detect hidden. Now, if you're running Harvest, you're going to get the bonus. So effective skill on chest. So I got an 18 skill bonus. This makes it so you can reduce lock picking and detect hidden and pick up other skills like camping you could take to 120 maybe you want spirit speak up a little bit whatever it is um, you can do that now if you do do that obviously you're going to need a bonus to your lock picking skill and you're not going to be able to use iron tools so you know you're going to want to use some better tools like shadow whatever it is now personally i don't like doing this because this just adds cost to your activity and this activity is about making money right so making gold coin. So you can definitely do this. However, it's very unnecessary. And let me tell you why. 
I made another script called Bapeth's Dungeon Recycler. Okay, here it is. So all you need for this, it is, this is also just very simple to run. And uh, you're going to need a Id container identification wand and some Tinker Tools. Now I made it Tinker Tools. It just, I could have made it any tools, but you know what? I like Tinker Tools, so we're going with Tinker Tools. So container identification wand, this is what they look like here. Now these, these are very cheap. You can make them yourself. You can buy them. I suggest just making them yourself if you got a crafter. Um, kind of requires a little bit of a strange crafting build to build make these things. Um, and you don't see them around too often, but they're very cheap. They cost two arcane scrolls to make. And uh, yeah, you'll get a lot of arcane scrolls. So that's okay. Yeah, we're spending some money on that instead of lockpicks. Okay, balance. But this is cheaper. This is much cheaper than using lockpicks. So you just grab a container identification wand. You grab my script. You can search for that already. And what it's going to do is it's going to recycle all the uh, magical weapons in your bag. And it's just going to, boom, your bag space isn't going to explode. And there really isn't a dungeon that's, uh, I mean, you can still get your bag weight up to like, like really high. And, you know, 80 might be a little lackluster if you have the really rare situation where you just have like tons of dupes in your chest from harvest and you're just getting way too much gold. And it just, it doesn't really happen like that. I, I figure... Uh, I mean, I've been through enough of these dungeons that to know that 80 camping with the container identification wand script is all you need. And you don't need to sacrifice your skill points for that, and you don't need to use color lockpicks. Uh, although, you know, it's an option, right? You can definitely do it. It's definitely definitely something that you can you can do. I mean, maybe you just have so many dull copper ingots that it's like, well, I might as well just use the dull copper ingots, reduce my skills a little bit, match it up so it works the same as iron lockpicks. Uh, you could do that but uh yeah there you go so i think that's all i gotta say about that thank you all for watching see you in the next one